I don't entertain struggle love in any form. Struggle friendships, struggle relationships, struggle any damn thing. Struggle job, struggle employment. Fuck all that struggle shit. That shit don't belong to me. I feel like I have fucking graduated. You know what I'm saying? With hard work, perseverance, blood, sweat, and tears. I pulled myself out of the mud. Now, I ain't no billionaire and shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not rich. I'm not. I'm far from my goal. However, I ain't motherfucking struggling. You hear me? And I know that sometimes we all face oppositions. I've been through a few myself. And there's times I did have to put my pride aside and actually ask. And not hint around at I need something, but actually come out and have the balls to actually say, hey, I need help. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that when I've asked for help, depending on the person, you know, they may have kind of, uh, you know. But one thing about me, <clears throat> I don't make a habit <clears throat> of asking nobody for shit. Because I'm always trying to figure out the next plan of how I can get more. And because I have that mindset. And that's the mindset that I adopted for me. And that's what works for me and my lifestyle. I'm at a point where um, when I was a broke bitch and I had broke ass friends, I entertained that shit, you know. Back and forth, borrowing, borrowing struggling and shit. That shit get old after a while, man. It really do. Like, I don't want to make a lifestyle out of having to borrow money from people. That shit is not cool. But some people in life accept that. Like, this is life, you know. But it don't have to be. It's never too late to hit the reset button, according to one of my friends told me. And, and, and was right, you know. You can always start a new life. How bad do you want it? You know what I'm saying? And Lord knows, you not going to get a better life by begging, borrowing, and stealing. And even if you did, that shit is temporary because you need to build it on a solid-ass foundation. And the solid foundation is you, is us, is, is within. You understand? Some days when you broke as fuck, you just got to be broke. You know what I'm saying? You need to sit in it so you can see what the fuck it feels like. And that's the best time to plan for the future. Because if you already at the bottom broke, shit. Now it's time to work your way up to the top. You might got a long road ahead of you. But nobody never said this life was going to be easy. You understand? So my thing is, if you ain't trying, if you ain't going as hard as I am, I have no room or desire in my life to entertain it. I don't. I don't. I'm not. Because if I can pull myself out the mud, if I every day I make a way for myself and my children, I don't see why nobody else can't do the same thing. So, that's where I'm at with it. I wish everybody the best in life. I hope y'all get what y'all want out of life, but... Trying to guilt trip people into looking out for you because you having a bad day or hinting around at you ain't got no money, but you ain't got the balls to come straight out and ask. That shit gets old. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not easy to ask for something. It's hard, especially when you're used to doing everything. But the fact is, if you're a grown ass motherfucker, Nobody owes you shit. You owe yourself every fucking thing. So before you run a guilt trip on somebody else or use a strategy to try to extract money and resources out of them, why don't you just take a moment to yourself and put that pressure on you where the fuck it belongs? Because you is the one that got you in a situation. It ultimately became, it came down to your choices in life. So if that's the life you choose for yourself, be my guest. You know what I'm saying? But stick with your level. You know what I'm saying? 
And it ain't about nobody being better. It's just that some people graduated and they don't move further along with their skills, their career, their lifestyles, everything. So either get on board or get left behind. But, and it's another thing. Star stories don't impress nobody. You understand? Star stories don't impress nobody. Don't nobody give a fuck. Everybody's struggling. That's what, when you start talking about a problem, people are like, mm, like I ain't going through some shit. Oh, you think that's bad? Let me tell you about it. You know, that type of thing. Listen, don't nobody want to hear no sob stories. It, it's the truth. I mean, you going through it, people have compassion, grace, and mercy. But you got to pull that shit from within yourself. And a lot of people don't want to put in the work. They think it's easier just to bed, bar, and steal to get what they want. But no, you got to hold your fucking own. And why would anybody be feel comfortable asking a single mama for some shit anyway? What you got to offer? But me, I ain't looking for no handouts. Because I was born with the principle of knowing that don't nobody in this motherfucking world owe me shit. As adults, we owe it to the children and the future generations. Just like the older generations, they did their part for us. Now we got to pass the torch and do for them. But don't be a grown-ass motherfucker, an able-bodied-ass, healthy being that can walk, talk, and use all their faculties. And you came up, you took all this time to come up with a sob story, but not a solution to your problem. That's where we different. Food for thought.